Um, I'm currently working for a multidisciplinary consultancy firm called Mount McDonald. Mount McDonald has more than 14,000 employees. We have offices in more than 50 countries and we're working in more than 140 countries. Within Mount McDonald, I'm working in the environment and social team. Um, within that, in the social team, um, our team does a lot of social input assessments of large infrastructure projects such as dams. Uh, we also do a lot of stakeholder engagement plans. We do a lot of consultation work. Um, we do a lot of uh, labor auditing and uh, land acquisition resettlement frameworks and plans uh, and those, those kind of documents. I'm currently still working at IDS as a consultant on different projects. Um, so I do research work for the vulnerability and poverty reduction team, climate change participation, and mainly in the area of social protection and social vulnerability to climate change. I'm now working at the Department of International Development in London um, in the Research and Evidence Division on a graduate placement. So they started a new graduate scheme last year and I was one of the first cohorts of graduates to go into DFID. I would have probably liked to have done more work on infrastructure. I would have liked to learn more about the history of infrastructure and development. I would have liked to learn more about how you can use the process of building roads, of building bridges, of building dams, of building uh, wind farms, how those processes themselves can be used to help address issues of poverty, to help address issues of unemployment. I think it's really hard to get the balance right sometimes between studying and doing all the various other things on offer, going to all the extra lectures and seminars or taking on a part-time job or engaging in the social scene, that kind of thing. Um, I think it's impossible to ever get that completely right, but I did try not to do <laughs> too much studying and to try and use these opportunities, and I think that was really, really good, and if I was to do it again, I would definitely do the same. I think what was particularly useful was um, to develop the skill of writing like an, um, a research paper, just like analysing a particular topic, um, doing in-depth research, uh, picking out the most important aspects, um, having an original approach to how to present them. So in my current work I do a lot of reading various different academic papers, um, a fair bit of research uptake work which is all about how you use research and, and put it into policy and practice. So things like writing summary papers, putting together literature reviews and producing case studies, that kind of thing. So m all of the experience I got in IDS last year around reading and assimilating various different academic theories um, and, producing and producing essays and reports and long extended pieces of writing, that's all been really, really useful in my work this year. I also did um, a research assistant role with uh, one of the professors at IDS, which I think was one of the best things I could have done um, outside of my studies because it was just really, really good experience of, of reviewing literature and of proofreading academic papers. And I think that's probably why I got the job this year. Um, well, I was lucky when I was at IDS, uh, we had somebody come in who advertised an internship at Mount McDonald. Um, he's an ex-student of IDS himself uh, and he he basically said that they, they want an intern to work for three months with them with the possibility of offering them a full-time employment afterwards. And so I applied for the internship and I had the interview um, and I had this three month with them which I think was very beneficial because I got to see what they do. Um, I got to understand what, what it is that they write about, what it is that they research on and they got to see what kind of person I am. So we had a, almost like a three month probation period um, after which they offered me a job and um, I accepted having known or having spent time with them and having seen what it is they do and mm, believing what, what, what they're doing is right. Um, so the DFID scheme was advertised in January there this year and they came, they actually came to Sussex and did a talk to try and recruit graduates. Um, and so I found out about it through that and then they had an, an application form and an online application process. And I was really lucky because I'd, I'd applied for that and, and I was lucky to get the job. Um, I, yeah, my plan was to just wait until after graduation because it's really difficult to balance job hunting with dissertation. Um, but I was really lucky to, to be able to apply early um, to that. So I think just keeping an eye out for opportunities that come up is really useful.